Felicity back here again for Hip Kits with another project using the March kit and I'm using the mood board which you would have just seen as inspiration. Um, sorry about my camera there, I've actually got my daughter doing craft on the other side of me and I said don't you bump the camera and she did. So apologies but that's real life guys. <laughs> um, it happened to be in the morning. I'm not sure what was going on, but I was kind of like, I just really want to craft. I just want to paint. And you can see little fingers here. She's trying to get my paints. Um, but yeah, so with the mood board, I just totally took that information, took the picture and like the paint idea because I just loved that mood board. Um, and it was created by Jilligan. Oh, can you see little fingers? There she is, pinching my paints, putting them back. Isn't she cute? <laughs> Anyways, um, going off on tangents, getting distracted. That's my life at the moment, isn't it? Um, so I just pretty much just put paint down any old way. I just chose my colours. I had this photo actually of Noni here with a butterfly wings looking out the door. And it was just, I haven't scrapped it and I really, really wanted to. And I was like, no, this kit... And that mood board was just perfect. Um, so there was no, you can see it looks a bit of a hot mess there, doesn't it? Um, I wasn't worried what it really looked like. Um, I just painted. It was great. Um, and then now I just add in a lot of embellishments and... Um, layers. I had no idea for the design. I didn't even know how much paint you were going to see or the mixed media on the background. Not a clue. Um, but that's that's just how it works, isn't it? So <laughs> I just spend a bit of time layering up and layering up. Um, but that's the great thing, I guess, about a mood board, isn't it? You can feel like you sit down, you're like, oh, I feel like I'm doing the same thing over and over again. Like, I get like that. I feel like I'm doing the same design. Um, sometimes we put pressure on ourselves, even us as designers, and we're like, we need to come up with something new. Come on, what's going on here? Um, but seriously, it's not about that. It's about documenting your memory. And if you followed me on here on YouTube, you followed me on Facebook, you followed me on Instagram, on my blog, you would know that I'm pretty big on making sure that I document the memory. Um, that's why I do my craft. That's, you know, and my biggest fear, and I actually was talking to my husband about it, um, because I was going through a little patch where I honestly struggled to have time to craft. I struggled to have time to, you know, do these beautiful pages and use the beautiful kits from here hip kit and I kind of was like I don't know what to do here and I when I was talking to my husband about it he actually said if you stopped creating and making projects and layouts and cards and tags and mini albums and project life would you still document a memory and I honestly said no I wouldn't have those memories for the kids I wouldn't have the albums and it really kind of hit home to me again why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, because I love sitting here looking through the photo albums that my mum did for me. I mean, in today's age, my kids wouldn't even know what it is to get a packet of photos in the mail. They wouldn't even know what a film is. Um, and that's the thing with technology. Um, I'm really bad at backing up my photos onto a USB or a, a hard drive or whatever it is. So... Um, and who's to say that my kids are going to have that equipment to be able to look at the photos in years to come? It's probably going to be an album. And that's when it came back to my real purpose of, okay, it doesn't need to be anything new. It doesn't need to be new ideas because let's face it, there's only a certain amount of ways you can put paper down. There's only a certain amount of ways you can do paint, right? Um, so I just was, once I really thought about my reason why, I was like, okay, I'm going to make time regardless of how crazy life is. And this is what I was doing. My daughter was right there. And I was like, no, you know what, girl? We're going to spend an hour together, an hour and a half, two hours, whatever it took, and let's just document this memory together. Let's. And she loves doing craft stuff. So once I made that decision of, look, here she is trying to pinch my butterflies, <laughs> that decision, I felt so much better about it. Um, because that's what we've really got to think about. And I want you to encourage you to do that. 
Anyways, I'm coming near the end. I went off on a tangent. Check the links below with hip kits and my blog. And please go and check out the mood board. Alright guys, see you in the next video.